Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday in FIFA Ultimate Team. You know what that means. It's time for our market outlook. I want to take a look at the market this week with the headliners promo going on. Team of the year is now kind of pushed backwards. I want to take a look at these cards. Take a look at the market as a whole because I feel like this market has a lot more confidence, especially knowing that team of the year is not happening just yet. People are going out, trying cards, messing around with these new headliners doing SBCs and, and basically playing with a little bit less, uh, less just, I guess, conscience that team of the year is coming very, very soon. Although it still is, you know, uh, it's not on our doorstep kind of like it was before. So I'm going to take a look at some of the headliners content. I think, I think we could see this week. I still feel like EA sports is in coin suck mode. I guess if you want to describe it that way, I feel like EA is going to be taking coins off of the market this week through different SBCs. And we got another SBC yesterday on Sunday. We finally got our headliners SBC card. We got one of them. This is Malinkovic Savage or 21 Savage as people call him. Not a terrible card. I don't think a ton of people are going to do him just because he's kind of hard to link. But uh, the stats are decent. It's a live item, of course. And it's not the most expensive card out there. I believe this SBC costs right around 150, 160,000 coins at the moment, which is not terrible, but it's not the best. I think people would rather use their 130, 40K on doing a Robin uh, instead of this Milinkovic Savage. But uh, speaking of what we could see this week, let's start with where the market is right now. Weekly sell off, full swing. A lot of stuff is definitely low. I'm taking a look at a lot of icons. I really am because these cards. People have confidence in icons. Again, it's what it seems. If you take a look at a lot of graphs from the weekend, um, a lot of cards kind of not rebounded back up a lot, but a lot of cards uh, just kind of kicked back up, especially from some of the baby icons. Um, because last week in the middle of the week, we just saw a lot of panic selling and the icon market was just really dead. And I think now knowing that team of the year is pushed back, people that wanted to try out icons and, and, and do that sort of thing, they're feeling more free to do that because of the state of the market right now. This baby Garincha fluctuates a ton. He's 128 at the moment. That's pretty low. This Raul was at 1.2 mil. Uh, and right now he's like 114 earlier today. Um, Maldini has been bouncing around. A lot of the out of pack special cards have gotten low too. Um, I was watching this Jamie Vardy card. I got one at 420k. And right now after rewards, we're seeing the market kick up a little bit as people are investing in some out of pack specials. And it looks like that Vardy is up. This Bruno looks to be down a little bit. He was at like 630, 640. He's right around the 600K range. So, um, you know, a lot of stuff is down, right? St. Max is 940. He was a mil during the weekend. This Promes is 240. He was down to 220. Some of the freeze cards are down low. I was watching this Ben Yedder inform today because um, right now, when I, of course, when squad battle rewards were happening tonight, um, I was noticing that this Ben Yedder inform is still very, very low compared to where his gold. Uh, or to compare to where his new item is. He's still 280,000 coins. And his new um, his new headliners item, which by the way, EA Sports, you need to upgrade the quality type, so I don't have to search special every time I do this. Uh, his new headliners item, I think, is right around a mil. Might be dipping underneath a million coins right now as we speak. Um, and that's the one thing I do want to talk about today is these headliner cards. When do you want to buy them? When to invest? Uh, and can we invest in them? I want to take a look at some cards last year too. We'll take a look at that in the second half of this video. But I think this Inform Ben Yedder, it's 270,000 coins. And the live one that is plus one rating on that card is uh, a mil. So Monaco does not play until the 6th. So they do play this week. But I think they have some a short span in between their games. Like they have two games in three days. So that means possibly this Ben Yedder price could be an interesting one to keep an eye on if they would win two in a row. Now, of course, that's one thing to keep an eye on, right? Is some of these headliners have already got one win under their belt, right? Bruno Fernandez and Manchester United, Zaha have a win. Mkhitaryan have a win. Um, Liverpool play today. That would be their first win for this card in terms of the streak of four games in a row. Atletico Madrid got a win yesterday, so Felix has got a W underneath his belt as well. And just kind of keep in mind that as these players get one, two, especially when they get to their third win, if it's a, if it's a team that's on two wins, like let's say 
Atletico Madrid are on two wins and they've got an easy matchup for that third game and you know that heading into like weekend league sell-off that week maybe it's next weekend and you see the Bruno Fernandez card dropping a little bit that could be a card that you would maybe want to pick up uh, because that could be rising as the third win gets close because when clubs get that third win in a row we've seen with headliners they do start to pick up that's kind of like the point where um, it's kind of like the hype starts to build for those cards um, and again a lot of these cards have dropped off a little bit tonight with rewards Ben Yedder's down a bit Felix has been bouncing around this guy is very rare and again it's Joao Felix uh, he's a very popular card in this game and his player of the month card is now gone he only has now impacts this inform that is 100k and this card that is 720,000 coins, 740. Now, technically, this inform, I haven't been watching it that closely, but this would be a card that I would expect to go up a lot this week. This would be a card I would keep my eyes on because now, again, he's been under 100K today, but his uh, Player of the Month is no longer out. We're going to talk about Player of the Month here in just a second for La Liga because I think we are going to get that SBC today. Um, or not today, but this week. But I'm watching this Joao Felix inform because uh, I'm going to go team of the week. There we go. I'm watching this card because uh, I think it's going to continue to go up because he's a very hyped up card in this game. He's actually kind of rare on the market. So I would keep an eye on this guy too, just because um, he's a very popular card and uh, only two items in the game now. You can't get his player of the month. So keep an eye on that item. Uh, and then the rest of these headliners, as I was talking about, um, Today at Rewards, they did get a bit supplied and they have dropped a little bit. But I think people are also going to start to look to invest in these very soon. I sold some Amabis for Lazy Buyers over the weekend. Since they have not put the card type in the actual transfer market yet, a lot of these sell for Lazies. Um, and these, of course, are live items. So they're going to fluctuate when they have games. I think there's some cup games this week. Um, so even a man of the match performance, uh, if they start dropping man of the match cards, we'll have to keep an eye on players that are in the headliner squad because those could get upgraded. Um, but I don't think I'd be investing in headliners just yet because just like we had last week, right? We weren't expecting a big day on Monday. Uh, and last week they dropped a party bag SBC on the Monday and then they dropped something else big on Wednesday. Oh, they dropped a base or mid icon upgrade pack. Um, and the 86 plus, I think, or maybe that was on, that was on Saturday, uh, two days ago, but I don't know if I'm expecting big content today on Monday, but we do have upgrade packs out. And this just, just, this is just seeming like EA is trying to suck more coins off of this game. Now, one thing we could look for is if we see some sort of pack code where they would update like a party bag SBC to include headliners, then that would tell me that there's more coming uh, this week in terms of a pack like that. I don't know if they would drop another party bag SBC if they would not include headliners in that pack. So um, maybe more icon SBCs could be on tap as well this week. We got Barnes, Torres, and Hierro. Um, and there were six icons out before. Now there's just three. That could be something that we do see this week. But honestly, you know, I, I'm just feeling like this is going to be another one of those coin suck weeks from EA. Maybe they drop another sort of headliners player SBC. I would expect one or two more of those this week. Maybe they drop another flashback since that seems to be pretty popular right now. Or like a special card, kind of like that Oxlade Chamberlain SBC. Um, and then, of course, I think we are going to get La Liga player of the month this week as well because the voting for that is over and if we go take a look here on footpin again we, we we took a look at this before um but it is looking like for la liga the player of the month the voting you know it's it's definitely not decided but um you know it's also a popularity contest so i'm thinking that benzema is going to win that player of the month of course he did have a pretty awesome month aspas technically had more contributions with four goals four assists but I think we might see Benzema win, of course, because he is Real Madrid. Probably got a lot of those votes. That might be an interesting SBC to watch out for because, um, you know, would they make it cheap? You know, it's probably not going to be that expensive. But a Benzema that would come out as an 80, it might be a 92 rated Benzema, honestly, because he has a 91 rated inform. And if EA wanted to sauce him up and give him 80 pace, that could be cracked. He might have 90 shooting. He'd have over 90 dribbling. And if they gave him 80 pace, that might be a card people would be interested in with four star, uh, four star, four star. So just keep an eye out for that this week because that could be another SBC EA tried to do to maybe take some coins off of the market. But trading wise this week, I think since a lot of people are going to be grinding icon swaps and people are just kind of confident in the game again, they're not worried about team of the year being on the doorstep. 
I'm really looking at some of these cards to fluctuate around a decent amount this week. I got this Ben Yedder for 277. All these buys were made tonight. Quadrado 113. I bought a Douglas Costa to link with the Mateus Cunha objective. I got this Vardy at 420 right before rewards. This card is just very rare. I, I mean, I'm very confident that I'll be able to sell this Jamie Vardy for like 450, 460,000 coins in the next day or so. But the name of the game this week, boys, is honestly, and I got these Jutas for like low 70s. Um, the name of the game this week is going to be flipping special cards, right? Team of the Group Sages, Road to the Finals, Europa League Road to the Finals, Rule Breakers. This cool Abali card just today alone fluctuated between 450 and 500k, and now it looks like he might be on his way back down. Just keep an eye on some of these cards because this Yorente is probably going to fluctuate between like the 245, 250 range and back up to 270. It's going to be a great week for traders to trade the out of pack special cards, uh, in my opinion, because these cards continue to get And if you want to put the time in, uh, it's going to be great to trade this week. I really do think it is. It was great to trade on the weekend. I think that continues, right? There was a Yorente there for 250. Um, this Promes card, I kind of think could continue to rise, of course, because of the links to um, the Robin SBC that a lot of people did. And maybe people weren't actually using Robin during weekend league, but maybe they're going to try him out during the week when playing rivals or something like that. So I kind of watched this Promes card today. And now he's back at 230. He was in the mid 220s. And just like the same, the same thing that I was looking at with the Douglas Costa card. Cards that link to objectives that rise when the objective first comes out uh, and then dip with weekend league sell-off, those to me are great buys because an out-of-pack special that is OP, that is meta, like this Costa, 320 is just sitting there right now. What's the next cheapest? 320 and 330, well, the 320 actually got bought, but those are the type of cards that I like because, um, you know, people don't focus on the objectives that much during the weekend, unless it's a very meta card they can use for weekend league. Um, but I think that that Cunha card, people might be trying that out this week. Same thing with the Robin. So I like those types of cards. Just kind of keep that in mind when you're buying a card that has gone up a lot for an objective link. Just keep in mind that it might drop off after weekend league. And you can see another rise in that week after. So that is something to kind of look out for this week with any more of those cards. Now, of course, Dumfries need that price range update. That's kind of an issue uh, stuff right there. But honestly, this week could probably be a pretty normal week with some content. I'm going to be trading some icons this week um, since I will have a little bit more time on my hands since the foot accountant has gone full-time FIFA. If you guys missed that announcement, I'll put a link down below in the description if you didn't miss that one. Uh, but yeah. I'm pretty excited about that as well with daily streams on Twitch and even more videos going to be able to go up on the YouTube channel. I'm just excited to take the content to the next level. I know I haven't really expressed that to you guys here on the YouTube channel, but a lot of you guys know through Twitter, through Twitch and everything. Uh, so I want to just kind of mention that again as well. But back to the headliners, back to business as we usually do on the channel. I was looking at these two squads and we'll take just a few minutes to talk about this. Our headliner is going to rise out of packs this year. Now, last year, if we take a look at headliner squad one, I can't, you can't look at the squad from last year and look at these graphs and tell me that it's going to be exactly a replicating of last year. And you're going to see these guys rise up a decent amount from where they were in packs, right? Lewandowski was 700K. He went to 1.1 mil on his third game. Bayern actually lost that third game and he dropped down a bunch. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, but the biggest thing, the biggest difference from this year to last year with these headliner cards is team of the year has not happened yet. And if we look at all these graphs from the cards from last year, right? Nelson Semedo, just a very meta card that rose out of packs because he was very, very meta. And it was the best version of this card available in the game, right? Um, I don't think you're going to see the same rises as you saw last year, honestly, just because team of the year is still on the horizon. Now, some of these cards might rise up until team of the year uh, if a, a team quickly gets three wins in a row or something like that. But I'd be very careful with these guys holding long term because yes, they might have a quick rise out of packs because these are cool cards. It's a really nice card design. Some of these guys are very meta, right? You know, Ben Joao Felix is a very meta card. Uh, Bamba is pretty good. People said that player of the month is a very good item. Some of these guys might just naturally rise out of packs or they might be invested in a lot. I think this Amavi is going to be a card that 
a lot of people invest in and you're gonna see it rise because people invest in it, right? They're gonna look at, wow, that Kamara Rule Breakers card as not as good a stats as this Kamara and he was 60,000 coins. This card is 25K. So I would just be careful with some of that stuff, but just kind of keep in mind that yes, these guys might rise a little out of packs um, and of course they are live items, but I don't think you're going to see a massive rise and a rise over time since we're not after team of the year. Now, after team of the year with this squad and, and he, uh, headliners team two, which are going to come out this Friday, I do think you will see them rebound nicely after team of the year, but not yet. Since we still have that on the horizon, I'm a bit you're not sketched out about it, but just a bit. Um, I just want you guys to be careful with these headliner items uh, that are on the game. Now, they're also pretty rare still. So that's kind of an interesting point. This Jao Felix uh, is is a very, very rare item. If we compare price and go to the 59th minute, like there's not a lot of supply for an 86 rated special card, um, you know, that is in packs currently. There's just not a lot of supply. I, actually, if I compare price on a Ben Yedder, last night when I was looking at the market, Ben Yedder had more supply than Joao Felix did. They both, we got to the 59th in a couple pages really quickly. Um, but yeah, to a point, I do think today after squad battle rewards, people might invest in these cards a little bit. You might see them bounce just a bit, but that's just normal uh, confidence, I think, in the market. I would stay if you want to keep it, um, if you want to keep it low risk, stay with the out of pack stuff. Go through your squads here on Footbin, your your, uh, your squads right here. Also, tonight, people were investing in Team of the Week because a lot of these cards rebounded right at the start of Squad Battle Rewards. Cancelo went from 51 to 55. Uh, Denayer went from 28 to 32. Langley is up 10K from where he was last night. A lot of people were buying this Magnon card. Uh, so I think some people were investing in Team of the Week. But I like staying liquid and just quick trading because Team of the Year is still in the back of my mind. Um, and some of these cards are crazy expensive. Cancelo was 188. He was 115 K. That's wild. But, uh, I think just quick flips is going to be the name of the game this week. Mane is looking low right now. Bernardo Silva is getting kind of low. Dembele is low. St. Maxman is up like 25, 30,000 coins from where he was at his point already tonight. Uh, just keeping an eye out on these out of pack specials is going to be the way to go this week. Um, because they're getting more and more rare as we get further on into this year in FIFA. And of course, as we get content this week, as we get more SBC players and stuff like that, you'll find cards that link, you'll see market movements. SBC fodder is one thing I haven't talked about at the moment, and I do wanna take a quick peek at it. It's still pretty high. Uh, it's still pretty high, 84s are up, 85s are up because of Robin. Um, we have multiple flashbacks with Ben Arfa that are out right now too. And we do have upgrade packs that are out, so People might be trying to trying to craft SBCs. And again, as I said in the beginning of the video, I feel like this is just a lot of coin suck happening from EA Sports. Now, one thing is, I think the base, does this Icon SBC expire in the next couple of days? Base from an Icon goes away in two days. I would not be surprised if maybe it's on Wednesday or Thursday this week, they re-release another one of these so that they keep it out. If fodder would happen to drop between uh, now and then, then maybe you'd see an investment opportunity with SBC fodder. Um, but yeah, man, just an interesting week on FIFA. A lot of people probably still grinding the icon swaps, uh, objectives and stuff like that, uh, since that is still fairly new. People opening their 83 times 25 pack, the 85 times five pack. I'm gonna be holding those until team of the year. Uh, and you'll probably hear a lot of complaints about gameplay this week as well, because, uh, or especially squad battles, because you have to play a lot more of these objectives in squad battles for the icon swaps this time around. There's six different objectives inside of squad battles and there were only, well, five technically, just then one week in league. There were only three last time around. So squad battle rewards next week uh, will probably have a little bit more market impact as well. Put some more coins onto the game because there will just be more packs open and stuff like that. So that's the market outlook for this week, boys. Honestly, it's kind of just a mm, week, depending on what kind of content EA comes out with. Uh, we'll be watching the headliner cards. We'll be flipping. It's just going to be a great week to continue to trade and to make coins flipping cards, especially on the out of pack stuff and stacking up those coins and trying to get as many coins as you can as we head into the team of the year time frame. That's a big grind for me. I want to get more coins so that we can open team of the year packs and all that sort of stuff. So that's the market outlook for this week, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.